Hello everybody out there with type 1 diabetes. Today I'm going to remind you of a reason why your stubborn highs might not be coming down. That's what we're going to talk about today. Perhaps you're just finding me. If so, welcome. Or perhaps you've been following me since the end of March. Thank you. I decided to come and do Facebook Lives to all of us with type 1 diabetes once this uh, whole COVID world began because I really knew that we needed a source of inspiration and motivation and education to just help us you know, go through these interesting times. And obviously having diabetes and the word COVID going around brings an extra level of fear. And so I'm here to inspire you and give you lots of information on how you can just be healthier and happier right now. Um, I've had type one for 40 years. Let's see what Dex is telling me today. Um, doing pretty good. So I obviously have a great flat line and then I just went up to 117 because I do love dark chocolate and I had a couple squares of dark chocolate that I didn't dose for. So as soon as I get off this, um, I'll probably, I don't know, go run around or take a little tiny bit of insulin because it's probably going to keep going up. Um, yeah, I walk in your shoes every day. I get it. I have been working virtually with patients for over eight years now. Um, I can help you get off that blood sugar roller coaster and feel confident that you are going to live a long and healthy life. That's what my videos are doing. That's what my online courses provide, my community, and all the, the various offerings that I do for those of us with type 1. But today, let me get to the question. Um, it is hot in the Northern Hemisphere, and we must remember oh that sometimes our insulin um, can go bad if it gets too hot, right? Now, I think there's obviously the whole gamut of how people are concerned about this. Um, some people carry their ice pack or their Frio pack everywhere they go. And then there's people like me who, you know, I have my insulin with me in my little pink bag. Um, I am on shots. I help people that are on pumps, but I personally am on shots. So, and I have my little pink bag. And so I have my insulin and my needle. I don't like pen needles, so I prefer using a syringe. Um, I find they're more accurate and they don't drip. And then, of course, my Dex and some glucose tabs. So that's what I carry. And so I just make sure that I don't have this in the sun. I also, of course, don't leave it in a hot car. And all my other insulin, all my backups and my long acting are in the fridge. So they say insulin can go bad after it's been opened for, you know, in 28 days. And it will go bad even quicker if it gets too hot, right? Because insulin's a protein. And if you, quote, cook your protein, it's going to denature and then it's not going to work. Now, there's a lot of a, kind of a, a gradation though, right? Because it can... Obviously, on day 28, it doesn't go from full force on 28 and then zero force on day 29, right? So people are always like, well, how do you know if it gets too hot? How do you know if it's been open too long? How do you know if it's too old, right? Well, basically, if you're having lots of highs that aren't coming down and you've tried everything you normally try, I always like to perhaps open a new vial and do a shot and just see. I don't throw away the old vial immediately, but I will open a new pen and see if I do some insulin from that pen, if suddenly my high comes down, then you're pretty confident that your insulin probably got too hot. So there, like I said, you don't have to always have it in a Frio pack or always have it in the ice when you're out and about in the heat, but you definitely wanna avoid it being in the direct sunlight. And this is especially challenging for you guys on pumps, right? So again, you gotta kinda consider, you know, where your pump is, you know, are you out in the sun? Is there a way you can put a little towel over it? Or, you know, as you're walking, can you clip it on the side of your body that's not in the sun? You kinda have to be creative when it comes to, to your pumps. But really, I want you to realize that, um, I think the insulin is a lot more uh, resilient than we give it credit for. Um, I certainly have never thrown out a bottle on day 28 or if it was in the sun for 30 minutes. I always, I, you know, we don't like to waste and insulin is expensive and, you know, there's already so many things, so much waste with diabetes anyways, all the supplies and the, you know, the inserters and the pump supplies and the needles, right? And it costs a lot of money. Nobody wants to throw out a bunch of insulin. So I always say, um, you know, keep trying it. You don't know for sure until you see its, its effects, right? If you keep giving yourself insulin, you're not come down. That's when I'm pretty sure I'm like, this is out. And of course, the longer I've had the bottle open, the more I'm apt to, you know, toss it. 
So that is my two cents in our warming up world um, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere. Just really remember, keep it out of the sun. You don't have to freak out and always have it on ice, but you definitely want it out of the, don't keep it in a hot car, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, so please leave a comment below. I know me most of you watch, of the, watch these after the fact. Um, like I said, this is, I've been doing these since the end of March. So this is, I believe, my 90th Facebook Live. And I, uh, I, love, I love interacting with all of you. And um, I have lots of resources for you on my website. I am just here to help type ones. That's what I'm all about. I've got a lot of great resources. I do feel that most of us haven't received the education that we need to really be able to thrive with type one, which is why I created my telemedicine business and all my online courses. So if you're struggling, I just want to inspire you to perhaps check out my website. I've got a lot of great resources there, free videos. I have a free handout. Um, you can sign up for my newsletter and stuff like that even though I'm not actively writing my newsletter right now because I'm doing so many other things, like trying to figure out what program I can provide to you um, once I probably, I don't know how much longer I'll do the Facebook Lives, but um, I'm thinking about creating a, a special program that has Facebook Lives and interviews and courses and that, but it'll probably be a few months <laughs> at least before I get that going. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching today's video. Um, let's see what comments. I love the comments. Okay. Hi, Michelle. Michelle's watching. Um, I use an in pen. The app will alert me when it's been 28 days. Yeah, that's helpful. But again, I personally have never thrown out insulin just because it's 28 days. So you have to figure out what works for you. But I've been shooting myself with insulin for 40 years and, um, you know, so I've got some experience behind me. Chad just started watching you. Loved your videos. Thanks, Chad. Glad you found me. Elise is watching. One of my regulars. Jason, definitely a regular. Timely topic. I was just thinking, why is today so high? I have to test the insulin tomorrow. Yes, that could be why if you got it too hot. Michelle, maybe set a calendar reminder to help keep help keep track of time you use the insulin. Yeah, definitely. You can write on your calendar what day you opened the insulin. I sometimes uh, will take a picture of you know a new vial and then write the date in the picture. And so I can always easily look at my phone at any time and be like, oh, when did I open this vial, right? Because I also just do you know, insulin syringe shots every day. So I'm always curious, like I don't even know how long it takes me to go through a whole 300 unit pen. I don't use that much insulin. You know, I do maybe one, two, three, four units per meal and then some corrections here and there. So, you know, maybe 20 units a day. I don't know. <laughs> I have a pretty low amount of insulin. But thanks for watching. Um, I love your comments. So I also read any comments for those of you watching the recording tomorrow and I'll, I'll respond. I'm pretty good at responding. So I'm glad you found me. I'm here to inspire those of us with type one that we can live a healthy life. I'm here to inspire you to take action because you deserve to have an A1C below 6.5. All right. So drjodynd.com is my website and you have a great day. Bye for now.